Madtown's number one for hip hop is 93.1 Jams. Go ahead, Grant. Let's. Oh, that sounds cool. I love that. Good friend of mine by the name of Grant in the studio right now. How you doing, buddy? Awesome. You got your keyboard <laughs> set up. We got this. This joint is wired and ready to roll. We should just have you come in once a week and yeah, just no kidding. Play music. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll you, jam out live. <laughs> well, okay, Grant. Let's let's. So I met you. My God, six years ago. Like ten years ago. Seriously, forever. Was it ten years ago? It was really? like yeah, two thousand one. I think uh, Mad Hatters. You had us on for a big spring show we did at the yep, Orpheum at the old gig. Yeah, and uh, we've been buds ever since. Yeah, you now you, you do Mad Hatters, then you get you become a part of something called Cats Pajamas. Yeah, professional acapella group. We were touring around the world in cruise ships for about wow. three and a half years. Nice. Uh, went to over forty countries, which was pretty awesome. And and then we moved to Branson, Missouri, which uh, was was that the downfall of the group? <laughs> <What>? Actually, yeah. <laughs> um, the group is still going, but uh, but for you, for, for me, like, I, hey. I was like, yeah, yeah I need, I'm good. I, I need to get out of here and start doing my own thing. So I'd been out in Los Angeles doing my own music for two and a half years before I was with them. Wow. And so now I'm kind of getting back into Graham was one music. of these UW students that was, I mean, you were one of the shining stars of that group. I mean, yeah, you, you, you know, you, they, it, there's, there was a couple of you. I know that went off and did. Are, aren't a couple of them still doing the cat's pajamas thing? Yes. Yeah. A couple of them are, are still doing that thing. Um, Actually, one of the guys just, um, I don't know if you watch American Idol, but yeah. the guy who is the accountant, the really tall Steve Bagoon. Yes, yes. Yeah, one of my guy friends works with him as well. I know exactly who you're talking yeah, he's, about. Yeah, he's one of my buds. Like yeah. He's deciding to kind of start pursuing music professionally. And, Good for okay. him. Uh, a little bit more fun than... Uh, being a certified public accountant. But I remember, I remember watching, <laughs> no kidding, no kidding. watching them at UW. I went to UW as well, and we would come watch you guys. You guys performed all the time. And well, and they bars. still do. I think Mad Hatters are still together. And yes. the Tangled Up in Blue, I think, was the female group. Yep. They're still going strong, too. Yeah, they. I mean, they keep selling out wherever they go mm -hmm. uh, for their big spring and their winter shows. So I don't know pretty... if, you didn't, uh, if you heard this, but I actually... Oh, no. Um, God, no. I, I do sing, Grant. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know so. this because I was doing a little research on the uh, the World Wide Web. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, the singing, yes, but the rapping, I, I saw this cheese song oh, yeah. that oh, you crap. laid down. So if you ever need, you know, oh, someone crap. to collaborate with. Or you know really? anything like that? Clearly, you're a lyricist. Rap. Oh yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. she's something. and on top, of, she's got mad flow. Which, right. if you're on 93.1 jams, you better have mad exactly. flow. Which, uh, I don't know, dude. I mean, <laughs> we, we, you know, we can let the professionals like you and the artists on the station have mad flow. I don't. I, he just said it. He just said that I have mad flow. There is no song about the best thing ever. Oh. Talking about Swiss provolone and cheddar. What? And that's good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, so you're here for a reason, though. We're going to be on vacation next week. It's a, you know, it's our first one, and it's your first one in your professional career. Actually, yeah, I know. you're going to Key West with your mom. Awesome. Ding. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, you're, you're. We were going to have you in next week, and our schedules got messed up with that way. I did with the vacation. Saturday, September 17th, a week from Saturday. What are you doing, Grant? I am putting on a, a concert for the Pink Ribbon Angels, uh, which is basically a foundation that helps uh, uh, cover expenses for people that have out-of-pocket expenses due to breast cancer. Wow. Um, wow. So, And it's a local organization. All the money goes here to, to local people. Um, How did you get involved in this? Um, I did a show um, with Cat's Pajamas a few years back for okay. the Pink Ribbon Angels. It was the first year. And uh, they've. This is now their fourth year going, and uh, they wanted to have me. So we're going back to my nice. hometown, doing a big show at the it's Performing Arts Center. It's a Lodi High School Performing Arts Center. Yes, at 7 p.m. a week from Saturday, the 17th, and uh, it's super affordable. It's eight dollars for students, ten for uh, seniors, and twelve for adults. And we just hope we, we're trying to raise five grand well, it's, in it's, a night. It's it, you're going to try and raise five grand in a night, and you're trying to help people out. People can. Uh, I, I'm uh, assuming there's a way to go online or something of that yes, nature. Yes, uh, pink. Ribbonangels.org. Okay, pinkribbonangels.org. Or you could just go to Grant's Facebook, but you're going to play a little something for us. That's the giant keyboard that you yeah, brought in the studio. The 100 pound uh, that motif. Much, eight. That's, uh, it looks like it's about like 300 pounds. Oh, seriously, yeah. that's probably 100 pounds, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. And they watched him carry it up the stairs on his own. They watched him. I'm like, <laughs> wow. I know. You I'm used to him. it. You you, yeah, this is this is employee. this is my rock star status. Okay, I'm used to I'm used to lugging my own gear. Yeah. So yeah, well, it used to just be your voice, but now you've got the big toys. Yeah. So we present for you. What are you going to do today? By the way, I'm going to do a little Drake, find your love, uh, mashed up with an a Grant, with a Grant Hendrickson original called Every Time. Oh, wow. wow. All right. Well, okay. whenever here's Grant Hendrickson performing that one. Ooh. 
I'm more than just an option, hey, hey, refuse to be forgotten, hey, hey, I took a chance with my heart, hey, hey, and I feel it taking over, I better find your loving, I better find your heart, I better find your loving, I better find your heart, I better find your loving, I better find your heart. I bet if I give all my love Then nothing's gonna tear us apart You capture my attention Your presence is an art the language of your love, an illustration of your soul to my heart. Every time I see your face, I'm blown away. I'm so glad I found a place where I can feel the beauty in today. Life's a secret, no one knows the future, the road unknown If you take my hand, girl, as long as I'm alive We will never be alone I better find your loving, I better find your heart I better find your loving, I better find your heart, I better find your loving, I better find your heart, I better if I give all my love, then nothing's gonna tear us apart. Wow, dude. That uh, was worth amazing. it. Amazing. You're you. playing that thing, and I'm looking at that keyboard. Grant Hendrickson in studio. He's going to be doing a charity fundraiser at Lodi High School Performing Arts Center. Tickets, eight bucks for students, 10 seniors, 12 adults. Pinkribbonangels.org, the website, or Grant Hendrickson on Facebook will have Ashley post that up there. Yep. It's going to be a week from Saturday at 7. But you're in studio, and you're playing this keyboard, and I'm like, I bet you wish you learned how to play guitar. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, a lot more uh, easy to port around. Yeah, that thing I, is huge. It's bro. huge. Yeah, I mean, I just when I was five years old, my, my father played piano, so I would listen to him play, and I was I've like, I want to do that. Know how to do that? You right, know? and and so it's I think the best instrument, but it, it is it's not portable. Yeah, it's so not. I, I've started to learn some chords. You just you know, you to get, be able to do like, things like this, right? Yeah, I know. But, so you can be ready to go. But I, that was amazing, dude. And I and I absolutely love the fact that you're doing this charity show. You're going back to your roots, back to where you started. And, and I mean, so what, are you going to start doing American Idol, X Factor tryouts, stuff like that, too? Um, I've already done all that stuff. You I, have? I, yeah, I did American Idol. I've done America's Got Talent. I've done the next great American band. I'm done with reality television. So I'm, I'm really, uh, I started my own enter entertainment company called Entertain You Productions, Wild nice. You. Um, you can check it out online. And I'm just getting out, that off the ground. And I'm, I'm really, really excited about. Um, you know, getting involved with communities, I've I've always been a big advocate of, of charities, much like yourself, Fish, yeah. uh, and and so now um, Why I just not I, use your medium to help other people. Right, has always been my theory, and I know that you agree with that because you totally. Got, my God, with your old group, you've done a ton of stuff, and I know you do a ton of stuff, silent but deadly, and behind the scenes as well. <laughs> I don't know though because Idol. I don't know if you knew this, Grant, but J Lo's oh, a judge on there, and you're a good looking guy. So maybe yeah, you guys could old? have that chemistry. How old are you now? Twenty nine. Hey, he's aged out. Oh, is it twenty eight? The kick? Yeah, yeah, twenty. Yeah. Well, the thing with this is, you know, all these people go on these shows, and it gives them great exposure, but yeah. they don't make any money. So, yeah. actually, taking your talent and then figuring out ways to, you know, actually make, make a money. living doing it mm -hmm. is is another whole story. And so, actually, I just got involved with Second City Improv out of Chicago. Nice. Um, I'm going to be a musical director for them. And um, you know other things that are music related that I can still pay the bills, do There's what I love, springboard. and then and yeah. then have my other opportunities. So, right. um, and he has a hot wife, which is nice too. Yeah, holla, holla, holla. All right, pinkribbonangels.org is the website. We'll fire it out again. It's a week from Saturday. Yes, Saturday night. 
7 p.m. September 17th, y'all. <laughs> Grant Hendrickson solo show. We're going to have a surprise uh, guest or two. And uh, it's just going to be a lot of fun. You know, not often can we get together, um, all of us, and raise that amount of money uh, for such a great cause, helping people that are affected by and breast it's cancer. Be fun. Um, you know, you were you had Sarah Kettleson, who's a classmate of, of mine on the show I love uh, her. last week, mm-hmm. um, who's, you know, battling herself right now. And everyone knows someone who's battling mm-hmm. or has battled. Hopefully she so, goes to that. And thing. yeah, she's so. going to try to make. It. I think it's her son's birthday, but um, she's going to try to come to that concert. And you know, ultimately, we can all do something great together. And so, thanks so much for having me on this morning. To uh, always a pleasure, to spread brother. The word. We will definitely link all that stuff out via Facebook. Awesome. Link from fishinthemorning.com. Uh, the web, the website again, pinkribbonangels.org. Ashley, what are you doing over there? What celebrity went commando on her wedding? Now, speaking of commando on the wedding, you just really go. I did, did just have a wedding. Was she, did you? Um, I went commando, but did that's you? probably not the. I'm not a celebrity, so I probably don't count. Yeah, but did she? <laughs> did she go? Uh, that's for my information only. Oh. Uh, which means she would kill me because she's listening. <laughs> All right, thank you, Grant. Trash with ashes next. Yo, what up?